Got a couple of days off, uh, had these scheduled, not coronavirus related. But what I always planned to do on this little time off was catch up on a couple of, of the house projects since we weren't going away anywhere this year anyway. One of the projects that has been driving me crazy for a while now has been this towel rack. It, uh, it, it's been coming off for years. I've, I've taken it off, I've spackled it, I've tried to anchor it back in. It's not put into anything but, but, but really thin drywall and it's not put in there real well. As a matter of fact, it's kind of put into the corner bead more than it's put into the, 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 the actual drywall. Anyway, it's a disaster. So that's gonna come off. I'm gonna cut open the wall it's all messed up anyway attach um, a little bit more of like a like a fake stud to the real stud so that way there's at least something with some substance for that towel rack to eventually get reattached to and then I'll put another piece of sheetrock up I'll tape it I'll join compound it I'll sand it and I'll do it about three or four times until I feather it out the right way put the wall texture back on it then paint it um, and, and even if my wife is completely uncertain that I'm gonna be able to do this without making the wall all wonky I'm going to prove that you can learn how to do anything by watching YouTube videos. I've watched hundreds of YouTube videos, maybe not that many, but lots of YouTube videos on how to replace or patch or fix some drywall. Doesn't seem all that hard. Um, of course, those guys are professionals. They do it all the time, so they make it look real easy. I went out and got all the supplies I think I need. I'm not sure why it's never only one trip to Home Depot or Lowe's, so I suspect there'll be more. Um, but we're gonna let this roll, we're gonna do it. And, and of course, if you're gonna do it, you might as well video blog about it. So here we go, demolition starts first, we'll take the towel rack off and we will go from there. Wish me luck. Part one, I think, is done. Cut the hole, took out the old stuff, smeared it up, cleaned it up a little bit, put the replacement piece of sheetrock in there, put a good coat of joint compound on it, then put the tape on there. Uh, that tape is probably pretty important stuff. There's gonna be several more coats of the joint compound that's gotta go on over that to smooth out and even out the wall and sanding each time. It takes a little while for it to dry off, but that's good. Let it dry and then I can clean up some of the mess I made as far as uh, taking down some of the sheetrock and everything too. That's the piece of a piece of sheetrock. That's what I used to cut out and put in that space in the wall that I pulled out to put that little piece in to give the towel rod a little something better to hold on to. Amazing, you buy this giant piece of sheetrock and I ended up needing 26 inches by six inches. Well, I guess I have extra for a while. Here's uh, the mess on the floor that I'll be cleaning up for the next little while while this first patch dries. It'll probably take 45 minutes or so to get this first batch of joint compound to dry. Things that we used, the, the joint compound with a couple of taping knives is some kind of gooey, gooey stuff, but it goes on pretty good. And uh, I'm pretty comfortable with, with the stuff that we used here. I think it did a pretty good job. Hopefully it'll keep doing a pretty good job. This is some all-purpose sheetrock joint compound. Um, this doohickey, I'm glad I got. This was a little sheetrock cutting knife blade and really, it was, wasn't enough of a project where I needed any kind of machine. A little handheld saw to cut out those pieces really did a good job for me. And then of course, my sanding block. Uh, I'm certain this is gonna get all torn up by the fact that I'm gonna be sanding a whole bunch to make that wall smooth and work the way it's supposed to. But really, outside of the actual sheetrock, the tape and the joint compound, um, it, it's not a lot of equipment or not a, lot, a lot of parts to replace a piece of sheetrock. And, just judging by, it only took about an hour to do that spot. It's not all that difficult. I think what will be difficult going forward, of course, is, is simply gonna be finishing it and making it look smooth and like the wall is one piece. We'll see if I have the skills for that. Um, 
So the hardest part about this entire project I've been working on for the past three days now has really been waiting for each round of the mud to dry. I'm waiting for what I hope is the last round, the fifth round, to get there. The wall looks pretty good, seems pretty good, uh, looks pretty straight to me, looks pretty, pretty level to me. So now it's just, I need this last one to dry so I can sand it one more time, spray on the coating to match the orange peel that the rest of the wall has, and then um, finally paint it. I was kind of hoping I'd be done by now, but all you can do is wait, wait for the stuff to dry. So we're done, finally. My knees uh, are a little sore at this point. And, and, and you know, when people ask me all the time, uh, Rob, do you like being a weatherman? One of my standard responses is, hey, it beats painting houses. And after spending a couple of days redoing a wall and hanging that towel rack that's mostly straight, um, I like being a weatherman a lot more than I like painting houses. Now, you know, uh, I'm no professional uh, at, at any kind of construction task, but I can gorilla my way through it thanks to a lot of YouTube videos that, that helped me figure out how to put the mud and put the joint and do the taping and, and all those kind of things to repair that wall. So that was a uh, big help to me. And while it's not gonna be mistaken for a professional job, it's certainly gonna be a good enough job, looks a whole lot better than it did. And hopefully it'll get me another couple of years before I have to go in there and probably end up doing some more minor repairs to that towel rack. It's not a real great design, but at least it's into some wood right now, not just the drywall and it looks a whole lot better than it did. Giddy up.